Hi, thanks for coming in today. We really appreciate you taking the time and making the effort to come here. I know it's not easy to get to Mornington, but thank you. Um, the process today is that we'll ask you a series of questions and give you an opportunity to ask us some at the end. Um, feel free to stop me at any time. Um, if you want me to clarify something, that's fine. Would you like anything before we start? A glass of water or no? Yep. Good. Okay. All right. So, Darian, um, tell me a bit about yourself. I grew up in a small country town in northern New South Wales. I attended um, a <laughs> incredibly strict private school there um, in 2008. I started working at Tamworth Paintball as a field hand, so I'd do anything from preparing meals for the customers, um, cleaning weapons, and even refereeing games. So uh, at the end of year 12, when I finished my HSC in um, 2012, I moved up to Brisbane and I started working at a Hungry Jack's and um, I was front of house, I was serving customers, handling money, cleaning, all that front of house stuff. And then at the beginning of 2014, I moved back home and I started working at um, Spendler Shoes as a sales assistant. So helping customers, cleaning, restocking shelves, all that fun stuff. And then at the end of 2014, I was given this great opportunity to go to Ontario, Canada and work in a ski resort um, for almost six months. And uh, I worked as an Adventure Centre representative. So I was like um, selling tickets and providing guest services. Um, so I have my brown belt in karate and self-defense. Uh, I love, love serving people. And I have an absolute passion for photography and a bit of a secret love for snow sports. That's really good. Um, and what do you think are your greatest assets? My greatest asset? Um, so I'd have to say that um, my greatest strength would be um, my ability to project my compassion and empathy. So when people, when I'm speaking to people, they know that I understand and I care for them and their needs. Thank you. And your great, your uh, greatest weaknesses, I suppose. What would you? Um List as your greatest weaknesses. My greatest weaknesses. Um, <laughs> I'd have to say my greatest weakness would be um, people in need. <laughs> um, in particular with um, friends and family. Um, if I see a person in need, I'm I will just about give up everything I own to help that person. I I can't help it. <laughs> So yeah, when I was in uh, Canada at the ski resort, I would take uh, 10 to 15 minutes of my lunch break and I'd eat lunch and I'd have my break and then I would spend the rest of my break, which would normally be 30 to 45 minutes depending on how long I was working that day. And I would go out to the, um, the entrance, so uh, the car park, and I would help customers get from the car park, which was awfully slippery. slippery most days and up into the lodge and I, I wouldn't get paid for this and I just I, I enjoy doing it and quite frankly the idea of doing it again like appeals to me <laughs> okay all right now moving on to question four why um in what do you think that you would like to come and work for Derrida So my family used to take holidays down in Mornington and we would often come into the restaurant while we were down there on our holidays and I just loved the vibe and I loved the people and the way we were treated and every time I go in there it just reminds me of those fun times with family on holidays and relaxed and I just really want to be a part of that. Good answer.
nearly there. <laughs> okay. Um, describe a time, um, and I guess we're referring to the workplace here, um, when you faced a difficult situation and um, just tell me a little bit about how you overcame it. I have been extremely, extremely blessed in my working life. There have been so few difficult situations that I've had to overcome. One of the ones that I can think of is when I was working up in Brisbane at the Hungry Jacks. We were in a mall and um, the, this customer, he just got so angry and he was so agitated. He ended up throwing food at us and and attacking our registers and eventually I, I think I recall him throwing a chair at us as well it was it was really really frightening and this man just didn't seem like he was going to stop I like to think I handled that situation quite well I managed to remain quite calm on the outside anyway and um, we managed to keep uh, customers back and staff back whilst one of the managers went and got security to deal with this guy. Um, thankfully nobody got hurt and there was no real damage done. Uh, yeah, so that would be one of the few difficult times I've had to overcome at work. Okay, um, alright Darian, tell me where do you see yourself in five years time from now? In five years time, <laughs> wow, that seems like such a long time away. Uh, I think I'd like to stay within the hospitality industry. I think I'd like to um, move up in management though. And <laughs> one of the things that really appeals to me would one day hopefully doing um, this, but in reverse where I ask the questions and doing hiring and um, managing HR. Excellent. Um, and moving on, uh, what um, today would you um, list as your greatest accomplishment um, in the workplace or it can be, you know, in your home or um, social environment? Uh, my greatest accomplishment would be working in Canada at the ski resort. So before I left Australia, in fact, um, whilst I was still living in Brisbane, I developed an enormous amount of social anxiety and depression. And I just, I didn't want to do anything. And quite frankly, I was frightened to go outside the house just because there were, there were people there <laughs> and I'd have to talk to them. Um, but then in May 2014, after I'd moved back home, I made this out of the blue decision to go to Canada and to work there in December. I made it and I was firm on it. I wanted an adventure and I was going to get one. And I think right up until the moment I got on that plane, the first one, um, my family was saying it's okay to back out if you want to, it's okay. And I really just didn't feel like they thought that I was going to go through with it. I th think they felt like I was going to back out and I wasn't going to go. Um, but I did and I showed them and I showed myself and I, I still can't believe some of the things I did up there. I had an amazing time and I learnt so much and I, I think I've grown a lot as a person. I no, no longer have, well I wouldn't say any, I no longer have a as much social anxiety um, and I could happily have a conversation with any Tom, Dick and Harry I meet on the street um, and I've, I've learnt the most important thing which is I can I can overcome anything when I put my mind to it and I think that um, yeah that is my greatest accomplishment to date. Um, all right, uh, I suppose this is a hard question, but um, a lot of applicants don't like this one, but it's part of the whole interview process, so I guess we'll get it out of the way. Um, why should we hire you? 
I think you should hire me because I, I personally believe I am a perfect fit for this company. I am a hard worker and extremely committed. I love to learn new things and I love um, doing new things and I learn really, really quickly. Like I said before, I have always loved the restaurant and I would really love to have the opportunity to be a part of it. Thank you for that. Um, last question from me. Um, what do you know about Daradons? I know that the uh, main customer base is tourists and a few locals. I know that Daradons has a wide range of wines and uh, the main menu items include things like uh, pizzas, burgers and um, light meal. Uh, I know that Derridon's opened 10 years ago and that it since then it has developed um, an absolutely fantastic reputation. Okay, well that's all the questions I have for you today. Is there anything that you'd like to ask us? Anything you'd like to clarify? Um, just, yep, whatever. That's good. Okay, um, we'll wind it up there for today. Um, we'll um, email you in a few days as to the outcome of your interview today. Thank you very much for coming in and good luck.